Now, depending on the nature of your business, maybe you want to display social media feeds on your website to visually showcase your business to your visitors. Now, the WordPress plugin called Smash Balloon allows you to seamlessly embed social media feeds like Instagram directly onto your website pages, and you can do this completely for free. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having an awesome week. Now today I'm going to walk you through the simple process of adding your Instagram feed onto your WordPress website with the free Smash Balloon plugin. Okay, so before we dive into this video, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and build a beautiful Instagram feed on your WordPress website. <music> Okay, now before we get started and in this tutorial, I'm actually going to share how you can add your Instagram feed onto your WordPress website using the Gutenberg editor as well as Divi if you use the Divi theme and Elementor. Many people now use the Gutenberg block editor to create their WordPress website. However, equally many people use the Divi theme and the Elementor plugin to build out their website pages with their visual builders. Okay, so first things first, what we need to do is go ahead and install the Smash Balloon plugin. So to do that, what we need to do is first log into your WordPress website, then simply navigate over to plugins and come down and click add new. Then simply navigate up to the search bar and type in Smash Balloon. Then come down and locate the plugin called Smash Balloon Social Photo Feed by Smash Balloon. Then simply click Install Now. And then once the plugin has been installed, just click Activate. Then once you've activated this plugin, simply come down to Instagram Feed and then click on Settings. And the first thing we need to do is connect an Instagram account. Simply click here. And then go ahead and make sure personal is selected and that way we can simply log into our Instagram account and connect our account. If you decide to select business, this means you need to log in with Facebook and go through a bit of a process that doesn't always work. So go ahead and click personal and then come down and click login with Instagram. Then simply navigate up here and make sure that your personal or business Instagram account is selected. Now if a different account is showing what you need to do is jump onto another tab and log into your proper Instagram account. Then once you've logged into the right Instagram account refresh this page and your account name should show up here then simply come down and click allow. Then select connect this account. And congratulations just like that you've successfully connected your Instagram account with Smash Balloon. Now what we want to do is scroll down the page, then here we have some basic settings for checking new posts for our Instagram feed. I recommend keeping when the page loads selected and you can choose a time frame down here for loading new posts. Then once you've made any changes simply click save changes. Then navigate over to customize. Down here we can choose the width of our Instagram feed as well as the height of our Instagram feed. Now this is all trial and error, so what you want to do is play around with these settings until you find the right ratios for you. You can also come down and select a background colour, we're going to keep this transparent for now, and then navigate down to layout. Then under layout we want to make sure that we have grid selected. This is the most professional layout in our opinion for displaying your Instagram feed. Then come down and add the number of photos that you want to initially show on your feed. We're going to go ahead and change this to 12. And then down here we have the option to change the number of columns that our feed has. So for example at the moment we have 4 selected, what I want to do is have 3 by 4. So I'm going to change this to 3. And that's going to look like this example up here. We're going to have 3 across and then 4 down because we have 12 photos displaying. 
And then down here we have the option to change the padding around images. We're going to leave that as it is and then scroll down to photos. Here we have the option to sort our photos by newest to oldest. If we select here, we can also select random. We're going to keep newest to oldest selected. Then if we scroll further down to header, this is where we have the option to show our feed header. We're going to keep that selected. We can choose the header size and then we can choose to show our bio text on our Instagram account. For us, we're gonna keep this selected. However, you can change this if you like or at any point. If you decide that you don't like the look of your Instagram feed on your web pages, showing the header and bio text. You can also come down and add a custom bio text if you like. And then down here, we can change the header text color if we like, and then come down and click save changes. Now just simply head over to display your feed and this is where we can go ahead and copy this Instagram feed code by simply highlighting then right clicking and coming down and selecting copy. And now what we can do is simply embed this short code directly onto our website pages to display our Instagram feed. Now if you want to display multiple feeds what you can do is customize your short code based on the different photo numbers and then the number of columns. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how to paste this short code into the Gutenberg editor as well as Divi and Elementor. Okay, so here we are within the Gutenberg block editor. We've quickly created a new page. Now to embed our short code, all we need to do is click into the content section here then navigate up to this add button, which means add a new block and then type in short and simply select short code. Then navigate over to your short code block that you just added and come down here and right click, then simply click paste. And here you can see we've added our short code, then simply navigate up to publish and publish again. Now let's see what our new Instagram feed will look like on our website page. We're going to click view page. And as you can see, we have our new Instagram feed embedded onto this website page. Down here, we can click load more to load more images. And then if we scroll down to the bottom again, what our visitors can do is click follow on Instagram and that will take them to our Instagram account where they can follow our account. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you can change the padding of your images if you like, or you can add additional columns or reduce the number of photos that you want to display on your feed. You can customize the look and feel of your feed. Now, what I'm going to do is share how you can add your Instagram feed using Divi's Visual Builder. Okay, so what I've done is quickly loaded the Divi Visual Builder on one of our website pages, our WordPress pages. Now to add the short code that's going to generate our Instagram feed, what we need to do is find the section, then the row, then within the row, what we wanna do is add a module. So for example, if I click here, this is where I can insert a module. Now what I want to do is locate the text module and click here and then under text settings what I want to do is navigate down next to visual and click text and then simply remove this section here and replace this text with your short code. So I'm going to paste the short code I copied earlier and then give Divi a moment to load your new Instagram feed and then simply click save. And as you can see, we have gone ahead and added our new Instagram feed using Divi's Visual Builder. Now what I'm going to do is share how you can do this exact same process, however, with Elementor. Okay, so what I've done is gone ahead and enabled the page builder Elementor. Now to add your Instagram feed is very similar to Gutenberg, the Gutenberg editor. All you need to do is navigate over to the left hand side and then search shortcode and locate shortcode and simply drag the shortcode where you want it on your page and simply navigate under enter your shortcode, right click, come down and paste in your new shortcode and then come down and click update. And now let's go ahead and view our changes. And just like that guys, you can see our Instagram feed. I hope you found this video valuable for adding your Instagram feed onto your WordPress website.
And there we have it guys, that is it for this WordPress Instagram feed tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about embedding social media feeds onto your WordPress website, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Then also you need to subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.